So the technology and life sciences priorities are um, making sure we have enough money for research and development. So support of Nancy King's R&D tax credit is something top of our list. We are watching closely any bills that drop on uh, drug pricing and make sure we're protecting our companies because we don't want it to be too difficult to do business in Maryland. So we are watching those closely and we'll comment as they come, come out. On the technology, obviously we want anything that allows investors into technology because that is a huge shortage in the state of Maryland. So I don't want to call it the angel tax credit because it's failed a number of times, but it needs to be some sort of innovation tax credit that gets Marylanders to pull the money out of their pocket and put it into companies and, and really put it in at a high level so that we can grow a lot of companies. Um, that's, that's a huge priority for us. Cybersecurity and biotech uh, tax credits for um, giving those companies additional incentive to stay here in Maryland. The, there's, there should be bills dropping to lengthen the time that those are, um, are around and we would definitely weigh in on those bills too in support of those. We haven't seen a lot of bills drop just yet on that, but um, we are watching those obviously to make sure that we can get talent. Uh, workforce development is a huge priority in the state of Maryland, and we have a huge shortage in the tech world for qualified, skilled workers, so we need to make sure that we don't have too much traffic to go up the 270 corridor, anything that helps that traffic. Um, we need to make sure we can get workers from the city out to the suburbs where a lot of the companies are. Um, and we would support anything that, that allows that transportation to the companies to be easier. We're not an official position, but we will support anything that brings money into the um, pockets of our, of our companies in the cyberspace. I believe that a lot of states are coming after Maryland very, very rapidly. Um, we definitely have the lead of any other state in the country right now, but we have a number of them on our heels. So we need to make sure that we take the companies that are here and keep them here. And we should be drawing more companies in here since we have the biggest base in, in the country on that. So we definitely need to get investment in so that we can stay ahead of the curve. Traditionally, the tech councils have not taken a strong position in workforce development, but when we survey our companies, the biggest concern they have is that there'll be a talented workforce available for them when they come out. And in a state that pays more, puts more money into education than any other state in the country, we're very fortunate to have a talented workforce. But what we're finding is that tech companies don't take the time because they don't have the re resources to actually take interns. The larger companies do, but the smaller companies are running so fast they can't train interns. So we are rolling out a program where we're going to offer our tech companies a training program for interns, and we're actually running the statewide internship portal for the Commerce Department and we're very excited to be able to bring real life experiences to kids as they get to the graduation years in their college life. Um, very excited about that. And we actually are hoping that a bill drops that gives some tax credits to people, to companies that take um, interns in, which would definitely promote a, a number of, um, of internships coming on. The other thing that we're doing is we're working with uh, the Department of Labor on the apprenticeship program because not everyone wants to go to college and not everyone wants a four-year degree. And there are so many jobs out there in tech companies that don't require a four-year degree or even a two-year degree. It's more on-the-job training. So we're going to be rolling out an apprentice program, which gives kids another option rather than just having to go to college or not having to work in the tech space. So we're excited about that. We made Todd Marks you know, to, to let Baltimore know that, that we care and that it's important to us. Todd Marks is the head of tech for us, which is a huge statement. And we also plan to do a third of our events in Baltimore um, to really draw in that tech community. Um, partnering with Betamore, um, I actually meeting with Jen on Wednesday to, to set, you know, set that up. It's kind of all rolling in really quickly, but we're, we're really excited about what Baltimore has to offer. We're talking to a number of people in Baltimore about joining our board that are at high levels which would be you know, newsworthy when it happens, so I can't really tell you because they haven't agreed to it yet, but they're seriously considering it. So we are really excited about what Baltimore has done and want to get that excitement and, and sprinkle it throughout the state because I think it would make a huge difference uh, in the state if we had the, that energy of what Baltimore has grown throughout the rest of the state.